E&D here. March of the Machine gave us a new mechanic that will aid our heroes and support each other in their aim to defeat the Phyrexian invasion. Backup. Backup is a keyword ability. When a card with backup enters the battlefield, players may put a number of plus one plus one counters on a target creature equal to the backup number. If another creature is chosen, that creature also gains all abilities printed after the backup ability. Backup always comes with a number. When a creature with backup enters the battlefield, you put that many plus one plus one counters on a target creature. If you choose another creature as the target, that creature also gains every ability of the original creature that is printed, very important, is printed below backup until end of turn. The mechanic was designed to represent the forces of each plane defending their home from the new Phyrexia invasion of the multiverse. But how do you play backup? Let's build our battlefield. Let's put Galta and the Nissin Boar in play. And let's cast Boon Brinker Valkyrie. 3 and 2 white. Backup 1. It's a 4 4 with flying, fair strike, and lifelink. Any creature with backup, it's a normal creature spell. Therefore, when casted, it will go on the stack. There can be a counter, there can be a response, nothing happens, and Boombrinker Valkyrie will hit the battlefield. When Boombrinker Valkyrie hits the battlefield, backup will trigger, and I need to put plus one plus one counters equal to the backup number, in my case, one, on a target creature. At this stage, I can choose Boombringer Valkyrie. You always have the option to choose the creature with backup or another creature. If you choose Boombringer Valkyrie, nothing else will happen. I will just put a plus one plus one counter on it. But if I choose another creature, that creature will also gain the abilities of Boombringer Valkyrie printed below the backup ability. In my case, I'm going to choose my Galta. I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on Galta. And now Galta is a 13 13 with flying, fair strike, and lifelink. My Galta will keep those abilities until end of turn. And now I can swing for victory. Some notes backup confers only abilities that are printed below backup ability. You cannot respond to the backup ability by giving, in my case, Boombringer Valkyrie additional abilities and have backup give those abilities to the backup target. These extra abilities are always added before the printed backup ability and therefore not granted to the backup target. Meaning that creatures that are the target of backup abilities don't gain any abilities printed above backup. So always any ability below backup are granted. Token copies of a creature with backup work just like the original. For example, if a token enters the battlefield as a copy of my Boombringer Valkyrie, that backup ability can have another creature gain its keyword until end of turn. So this is how you play backup. Leave me in the comments below. What do you think about this mechanic? I think it's a mechanic ideal for commander players. As always, subscription buttons here. Subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.